I'm Fiona, author of 25 Foods Kids Hate and How to Get Them Eating 24, and this is my butternut banana smoothie. It may sound like a strange thing adding butternut squash to a smoothie, but trust me, this really works because when we talk about uh, roasted root vegetables being nice and sweet, that's exactly what inspired this recipe. If you have any kids that refuse their veg, this is definitely the recipe for you. So first things first, and that's preparing the butternut squash. And I found that people are always really put off cooking with butternut squash, but I have the best tip for uh, cooking squash. Don't peel it, uh, don't chop it up, you'll only hurt your fingers, hurt your hands. All you have to do is put it on a baking tray into a hot oven about 190, 200 degrees and cook it exactly as you would a baked potato. Leave it for 45 minutes, maybe an hour in the oven and when a sharp knife goes through the fattest part easily then you know that it's cooked. So that's my tip. This one I've done already and as you can see the knife goes through really easily and we don't need the seeds for this recipe, we literally just need the flesh. And you can see it's all cooked through. And I'm going to measure out about 200 grams of this cooked squash. So you'll be able to find all the ingredients for this recipe in the description box. I've got my cooked squash and it's going to go into the blender. I've also got two bananas chopped up. Make sure they're ripe because that does make a difference. And I always chop mine up a bit before going in because it just helps the blender along a bit. Plus I've got some pressed apple juice which is also going in. Pineapple juice works really well as well plus uh, tropical juice but just play around whatever you think. And now the noisy bit. So just blend it until everything is basically fully combined and it's the thickness that you want it to be. If you want it a little bit thicker, little tip, add a couple of handfuls of ready break because it will be not only that bit thicker but also you've got those nice slow energy release oats as well. Super healthy. I think this is done and now all I have to do is pour it so you can see it's ready in seconds. And my kids love this. And you can tell just looking at it that it's healthy. Um, I'm going to garnish with some raspberries and mint just to look pretty. So that's it. How quick and easy was that? My butternut banana smoothie. Do subscribe to our Video Jug YouTube channel. Also follow us on Twitter at Video Jug Food or find us on Facebook too. And please join me next week for more of the same, getting your kids in the kitchen with Video Jug.